Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video we're going to discuss classes in C Sharp. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Alright, classes. A class is really just a bundle of related code that you would like to organize together. It can be used as a blueprint to create objects with object-oriented programming, but we'll discuss that in the next video. So my main method is located within a class named program. The point of this class is well to group my program together, but there are classes too that have certain functions, for example the math class. The purpose of the math class is to contain a bunch of useful methods related to mathematics. And let's take a look at this. So this class is named math, and all that's in here is a bunch of methods related to mathematics. So that's kind of the point of this class, but we can create our own classes too. Now to create a class, we can either do so outside of our class program, or create a class within a separate c -sharp file. I'll show you both ways. So to create a class, make sure that we're not writing this within our class program, so that ends here. Type class, and let's create a class to group a bunch of useful messages together, like message methods. Class, messages, curly braces. And let's create a few methods related to messages. So this is going to be more of like a utility class. Void, hello. And when we use this method, let's display a message like, hello, welcome to the program. And let's create maybe two more. Void, hello, void. What about waiting, like we're waiting for something? I am waiting for something. And what about goodbye? Void, bye. Bye. Thanks for visiting. If you would like to create a class within a separate c -sharp file, I would recommend opening your Solution Explorer. If you don't have that open, you can find it here. Go to View, Solution Explorer, right-click on your namespace, Add, Class. Class and then I will name this messages. Add. Okay, then I'm going to take my code from within this class, cut it, delete my class, and then paste it within this class messages. So you can either write your class within the same C-sharp file or a different one. If I would like to use some of these methods found within the messages class, there's one of two things that I need to do. I either need to create an object from this class, or I need to precede my class definition with the word static, followed by everything within my messages class. So we'll talk about creating objects in the next video. So for now, we'll just have to use the static keyword, and I'll create a separate video on this too. And we should now be able to use these methods found within my messages class. So if I need to display a hello message, I would type the name of the class, that would be messages, then dot to access the members. However, these are not visible, so we need to make them public. And that'll be a separate video on access modifiers. So I would like this to be a public method. So precede static with public. And we should now be able to see those methods. So type messages again, dot, and here are those methods. I would like to use the hello method, and that will display my message. Hello, welcome to the program. I also have that waiting message messages dot and that was waiting as well as goodbye messages dot bye so hello welcome to the program i am waiting for something bye thanks for visiting so basically a class is just a bundle of related code and it can be used as a blueprint to create objects otherwise you can use a class more or less as a utility class but when you define your class, you'll have to precede the class definition with the word static. And to make this public and accessible, you would have to precede each method with public and static. So yeah, those are classes. They're really just a bundle of related code. You can use them as a utility class or use them as a blueprint to create objects, which we'll discuss in another video. If you found this video helpful, please help me by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and well, yeah, those are classes in C-sharp.